This video is about minimum wage and how a lot of people think that if you raise the minimum wage it will help them out financially because they get this big raise. What they don't understand is that a minimum wage increase actually hurts employees. For example, in San Francisco not too long ago they raised the they passed a city minimum wage of $15 an hour. Well, if it was $7.50 before and now it's $15, they, people think, oh great, I'm making double the money. But the problem is, the jobs that were paying the minimum wage, now they can't afford to pay the employees that $15 an hour. They're not just going to do it and take a loss. What ended up happening is McDonald's that pays minimum wage, they pulled out of San Francisco. So people think, oh yeah, I'm going to get more money, I just double my pay. Well, what they actually did is they lost their job because McDonald's pulls out. And money isn't, pe people think, you know, the more money I have, the better. Well, it all depends on buying power. Uh, and that's where inflation kicks in. You know, back in the 70s, they had inflation, was, they had double-digit inflation, it was very high. Uh, I've heard stories about how over in Germany during the war, it got so bad that people would be, inflation was so bad, they'd get a barrel full of money when they got paid and the first thing they do is they go take that barrel full of money and go buy groceries with it because they knew the next day that barrel full of money would be worth half of what it was that day. So the more money you have it seems great because yeah now I'm making fifteen dollars an hour instead of seven fifty. Well if you just double the minimum wage well now if the company stays let's say McDonald's did stay well now they've got to at least double the price of everything on their menu because they just doubled the cost of having that person make the burgers and take your order and work there. So their cost is doubled. So if their cost is doubled, now the price of the food is going to be doubled. And so the extra money didn't really do you any good. And what makes it worse though is now you're paying higher taxes. So let's, let's take an example. Let's say New York City. They have the highest cost of living in the United States. Um, I could rent uh, a house out in the country in, say, Iowa. I might can rent, I don't know, I haven't been in the market for that, but let's say $500 a month for this house. That same house in New York City would probably cost me $5,000 a month, 10 times more in New York City versus Iowa. Well, in New York City then, I'm not going to get paid 10 times as much as I was in Iowa so now my, I'm actually poorer in New York City than I was in Iowa, even though I'm getting paid more, because i got to spend more money. And what's worse about it is, the more money I make, the higher my tax rate. So your first, say, six, $7,000, depending on how many exemptions you have, let's say $7,000, uh, you can make $7,000 a year and not pay any federal taxes, again, depending on your exemptions. Well, then the next, say, and I don't have the tax table in front of me, but let's say the next $10,000 you pay a 10% rate on. Then the next $10,000 you pay a 15%. Then the next $10,000 you pay a 20%. Well, if your wage just got doubled, before your average tax rate may have been 7%. Well, now your wage got doubled. Now your average tax rate is, let's say, 10%. So now you're paying more taxes, which means you have less money, but yet the money, I mean, let's say you still have, okay, give an example. Let's say $10,000 is what you made before and you pay 7%. So now I've got um, $9,300. But now my wage is double, so now I've got $20,000. So now, but I pay 10%, so now I pay $2,000. So now I've got uh, $18,000 in the case where my wage was doubled. But in the case before my wage was doubled, I had 9300 Well, 9300 is more than half of the 18000 So even though my wage was doubled, my take-home pay was not doubled because I had to pay more taxes on my take-home pay. And then if the price of everything is doubled because the cost of labor is more, companies aren't going to say, well, we'll just cut into our profits. They're still going to make the same profits. So now their cost is doubled, so now the, the cost of everything is doubled. So now I can't buy as much with my 18000 
as I could have bought with the 9300 because 9300 is more than half of the 18000 And so it actually, a minimum wage thing, people think, well, I've got 18000 That's a lot better than 9300 Well, if the price is doubled on everything, the 9300 is actually better. Just like I could live off of a lot less money in Iowa than I could in New York City. And so by increasing minimum wage, all they're doing is just making the prices go up, which makes the tax revenue, the percentage, go up. And then that's less money in my pocket to spend on the goods. Even though the dollar amounts are higher, what I actually come out with in the end, how many loaves of bread, how many gallons of milk, and all of that is less that way. Yeah, you think, you know, for people that work at fast food restaurants, you think that, uh, trust me, I, I would love to be making a lot of money. But if you think about it, when you get a lot of money, like he said, there's a lot more taxes you have to pay. And you're like, I don't care about taxes, I got a lot more money. Well, not necessarily. Like he said, they're paying you $15 an hour. That means the food, grocery stores everywhere, if everybody got paid $15 an hour, minimum wage, the groceries are going to cost more. If the groceries cost more, that means you're still making the same money as you were making when you were getting seven bucks an hour. So you think you're actually getting ahead, but because these companies have to pay you more money, like he said, they're not going to be generous and say, well, you dipped into my profits a little bit, you know, but you're worth $15 an hour. So I'll just take that loss on me, you know, because I'm a nice person. Mm, no, they're not nice. They're there to make a profit. They want to be sitting on the beach in Fiji. You take that money out of their pocket, that means they're sitting on the beach in Florida. That's not what they want to do. They want to go to Fiji. So what are they going to do? They're going to jack the prices up, which you think... Oh, I'm getting $15 an hour. Yes! That means groceries are going to go up. Gas is going to go up. Clothing is going to go up. Every price of everything is going to go up. And you're going to be still looking at your paycheck going, Man, it's not going as far as I thought it would go. I'm making 15 Then you start thinking about it. And if you start calculating and adding it up and subtracting everything your rent will go up and you think well my rent shouldn't go up well think about it they're gonna have to pay somebody if they need maintenance done on that apartment you're renting if they need maintenance done on that apartment say your roof is leaking they're going to be having to pay somebody that maintenance man who now makes more money they're going to have to pay him to come out there to fix your roof. And guess what? However long it takes, they're going to, that's going to come out of their, their profit. They ain't letting go of their profit. That means they're going to raise your rent. So you're paying more for food. Your, yeah, you're paying more for food. Your rent's going up. Hmm. Your rent's going up. So you're going to be looking, going, I'm still not making, you know, I still don't have a lot of money left in my, my bank account. It looks the same as if, if I, when I made, you know, $7 an hour. You got to think it through. Everything's going to go up. Sure, it sounds great, but everything's going to go up. And trust me, I would love for everybody to be making $15 an hour and gas only cost a dollar a gallon. That would be a lot of money in everybody's pocket. But guess what? It's going to go up. 